This video is sponsored by GVM. One of the biggest mistakes people make when lighting their videos is simply having their light in the wrong position. And the easiest way to fix this is by changing the position of your light. So just move it from directly in front of you to about 45 degrees from your face, and then you'll have a lot more of a flattering light. And I got more tips just like this in this video, so keep it locked. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Altakori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tech gear reviews, other times we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. The tips in this video are going to be helpful no matter what light or light kit you have, and even if you're using natural light. But the kit I am using is called the GVM 672S 3 Light Kit. It's one of the most versatile light kits on the market right now. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it later in the video. And of course, if you wanna check out all the specs on these lights, you can check out the link in the description below. The next mistake people make is having hard or harsh lighting. Just because you have the ability to turn the brightness all the way high on your lights doesn't mean you should. Typically, I leave my lights at around 10 to about 20% when shooting these talking head YouTube videos. Other than turning down the brightness of your light, diffusing your light is another way to help with harsh or directional lighting. And you can do that by using a diffuser. A lot of lights come with a diffuser like the one that GVM provides, or you can use a white fabric. This is especially the case when it comes to smaller spaces, like if you're shooting in your office uh, and you have to have your lights a lot closer to you because there's not that much space. But all in all, the goal here is to have soft lighting. So if that means turning the brightness down, putting a t-shirt over your light, but all in all, just having that soft, flattering light will help your image a lot more. Nolan from the Think Media team actually made a video on how to soften your lights uh, with a very inexpensive way. And you can check that out by clicking the YouTube card or the description below. And if you did what I recommended, either turning down the brightness or diffusing your light and it still is a little harsh, I would say the last solution to this is just pointing your light upwards towards your ceiling or walls to let the light bounce off your ceiling and or walls, and then that will then light yourself. And that's a good way to get soft lighting. Now, if you're getting value in this video, let me know by hitting that like button for me. Thank you so much. And question for you is what light issues do you have when it comes to lighting your videos? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you are in the market, to get new lights or you wanna upgrade your current lights, check out GVM's kits down in the description below. The next mistake a lot of people make is having incorrect temperatures of lighting and or wrong white balance settings. It's very important that your lighting temperature is consistent with your camera settings. Uh, white balance is a huge role when it comes to lighting and having warm lights in your background and then lighting yourself with a very much cooler light or vice versa can produce what you would call a dingy look. It just doesn't look that good. You wanna have consistent lighting and consistent settings in your camera. When I'm shooting my talking head videos, I'm usually using anything around 45 to about 5,000 Kelvin. And so my temperature in my camera that I set on my white balance will be 45 or 5,000 Kelvin. All right, I thought I would show you. So notice how here on the light, it says 4,500 as far as the Kelvin goes. I'm gonna hop into my camera, go into my white balance settings, and I'm gonna go and just lock in my temperature at 4,500. Right now it's at 54, so I'm gonna go to 4,500, and now they both match. You can actually set custom white balance in most cameras, and you can do this by holding a white piece of paper or what you can buy a white balance card and I would also recommend to not shoot on auto white balance. If you have a set shot like, like this, or you know you're not moving outside of your area and it's consistent lighting, then you wanna lock in your white balance settings to match your lighting. And you can do this by setting custom white balance, like using a gray card or a white balance card, or you can use a white piece of paper as well, or lock it in by choosing the correct Kelvin based off of the light that's shining on you. One of the best investments you can make when it comes to video and YouTube is your lighting. And that is why we love GVM, AKA Great Video Maker. The GVM 672S is a bicolor lighting kit, which means you can select a range of white light helping you get the perfect shot and skin tones in your videos. But our favorite light kit here at Think Media is actually called the 50RS3L, which is basically identical. However, it is an RGB light, which means you can select any color of the rainbow to add a creative style to your videos. Usually it's in our background for our thumbnails and videos, but this helps you stand out and get noticed. 
So if you're ready to solve all your lighting needs in one convenient package, you can find all the details and links down in the description below, and be sure to browse the amazing light kits that GVM offers for every budget. And for more lighting tips, check out my video on showing how to set up a YouTube studio background and easily light it with cool color effects. And you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen right now. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.